So I'm okay, like, cool. I really you apologize. Yeah. You're like, it's done. But then all of a sudden, Je hi, sister. <laughs> Sister Snatch. The God complex on the internet. That's a James comes in. Like, I've actually never, like, been so grossed out by someone's ugliness so on the inside so much. Like, Hi, sisters. Ugh. Well, you know, I'm no friend of James Charles. I Ugh. I was cool with James, but after I talked to him in the DMs, I was like, this motherfucker is a douche. Hi, sisters. <laughs> Is James is like super talented at makeup? Like, why does he go down the role, like the path of like Keemstar of being like a troll and an asshole? Like, why is he like? I don't doing think he's a troll. I think he's like an. Well, again, I'm not. I can't diagnose him, but he's got. He's got you know a big ego, and he's and he's very victim complex. Yeah, he, he gets very he's defensive. Never apologized. Like even being called out for like racist stuff he's done, he's still not apologizing. He's All right, let's not. read the tweet. Ugh. This Charlie situation does not sit right with me. Is that good or? Yeah, that was good, James. Yeah. <laughs> 100 million followers in one year, and y'all, he's got kind of a deep voice too. It's like, 100 million followers in one year, and y'all expect her to know how to be a perfect role model? Death wish because she's a picky eater and made a joke about her milestone. Three plus years old dragging half their age feels familiar. Oh, because he's saying he's been <laughs> through it? Yeah, because Tati was friends with him, which, by the way, I don't know these people. Yeah, it's not I don't familiar. Have friendships. Like, the fact that your parents let you hang out with Tati when you were a teenager, that's not something about your parenting, and I'm sorry you were the victim of that, but at the same time, now you're a victim so of like. I, I feel like his tweet was fine. I feel like these are all good points to make that I agree with. Mm -hmm. But the feels familiar part is like, okay, Drew, oh, Okay, victim. Yeah, I <laughs> Just agree with that. Perpetual yeah. victim. Feels familiar, sister. Yeah. Sister Snatch. Ugh. Death threats, I mean. Yeah. It's like, but that's also what people say when they want to try and cop out of something. Like I used to say all the time, like I'm getting death threats, and the people like that's everybody not cool. gets death threats. That's funny like you say that. <laughs> <laughs> it is because everybody gets death threats. Every and those little fairies that are like, hang yourself, like whatever. I mean, it's people, also like an 11 year old that exactly. sent you an email that's like, I fucking gonna kill you. Yeah, if someone's like taking pictures of your house and like whatever, that's yeah. like one thing. But like saying nine year olds are gonna kill you, like that's a, that's the internet now. It's okay, so sister snatch. And then you respond to James, which of course you have to, because fuck James Charles, am I right? Well, James, James Charles. Back, our favorite. Okay, you buried it, you apologize, and now James got to insert himself oh. into the drama oh. and make up Sorry. all about James Charles. That's what I fucking can't say. Let's and go. And we're not diagnosing him, but that's what a narcissist does. Without diagnosing <laughs> this narcissist. <laughs> Who inserts himself into drama after she's apologized, I apologize, people are getting over it. But no, this is ultimate deflection, narcissist. Oh, James. That's why I kind of feel like he had something to, say, to do with her calling me out because she called me out the same way James did, which is like, keep my name out of your mouth. And that's why I was like, what the fuck? And now James is like, here's my chance to jump in. Here we go. Forever victims. James Charles subtweeted this about me. 30 plus year old dragging someone half their age. Hey, you young kids and kittens. The reason why you're so rich is because people talk about you. I'm allowed to comment on people I've never even met before. I wasn't a 30 year old point. being friends with you, James, underage. You are also 21 years old. Friends with an underage minor. Tati took advantage of you by being friends with you. You're doing that with Charlie. Hmm. I haven't been friends with you. I haven't been friends with Charlie. I am not friends with a minor. I am simply someone on social media and giving comments. And just because you don't like me, James. The, by the way, the, this whole relationship he has with her, like uh, being a mentor is nice and good. But that when he's having her like promote his merch and stuff, yeah. then it feels a little user, a he's little a user. parasitic. It's the same way Tati was using him, and he's using her. And that's really just interesting. Say it. I think just, I think you're right. I mean, don't don't put her in your merch campaign. Right. It's gross. It's gross. I would never like my merch coming out. Not to plug it, but I would never be like Shane, wear this. You know, like if they hi do Charlie. It, cool. Yeah, exactly. You, you know, yeah. you don't but put them in the Charlie. Campaign. I'm doing. I want you to be wear my merch. Yeah, it's so. I've gross. done it. I've done so. I'm not comfortable. I've done so much for you. <laughs> I'm your mentor. <laughs> I'm your mentor. You wouldn't be anything without me. Oh God, ew! The fact that he called himself a mentor. Charlie like, also came after me because those words were exactly the words that came out of your mouth. Keep my name out of How your mouth. How can someone who needs a mentor be a mentor? I don't know. You're gonna mentor James. Maybe you should mentor him. Mentor, I'll mentor. I'll, mm, <laughs> nah. I've got too many. I've got a son. I don't need a <laughs> another one. Disciple. <laughs> James, would you like to be my disciple? What is, oh, I'm gonna keep talking about you as long as you're on social media. You people are open for criticism. There's no hate. There's no bullying. There's no foul misconduct except for you being friends with a 16 year old girl. Okay. Ew. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, Trisha, before you comment, somebody pointed this out, and I just have to, in the sake of fairness, 
You have made a bunch of videos oh, okay, yeah, with sure. uh, Joe. Not a bunch, one, one day. Oh, this was all in one day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the deal? Okay, I will tell you, and I said this on TikTok, and I'll say it right now. When I collabed with JoJo, her parents weren't home. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I felt so That's weird, super weird immediately. And I was like, you know, I was like, and it felt weird. It felt weird. So then we did collabs. David and Jason came over. Her parents still weren't home. Like, this feels, it felt weird from the beginning. It feels what freaking weird. What the fuck is up with their face? Wait, so right. not only you, but David and Jason were there and her parents were there? Mm -hmm. What? And it was weird. So, okay. They weren't even at home? Huh? They weren't even there, like, in the house? No. And it felt so weird. And I Ugh. get like, so, no, it does. And here, look, can I also just say, and I'll, I'll finish the story of the JoJo. Like, I had issues when I was a kid, obviously, with adults, young adults that, like, fucked me up, you know, and lessened me. And not just straight guys, okay? And whatever. So, and not just males. So, I have a really deep-rooted sense of like trauma from this and 98 percent of adults probably aren't doing weird shit Dude, like, you don't need to quantify that you okay. shouldn't leave your t your your young daughter alone with three of course adults of course okay yeah. but i'm just i want people to know why i'm so adamant about this because it fucked me up in such a way that like i, I can't even explain so so i it felt weird and I, I, right away but anyway so fast forward to new year's eve i'm dating jason she invites us to go to new year's eve with her and and that and i did a whole video about this of why i was alone on new year's eve i told jason i don't feel comfortable like going to a new year's eve queen tribute band with a minor like i just don't even if he has kids or whatever like i just i didn't feel i didn't feel comfortable so i didn't go and i said that in my new year's eve video look it up in 2019 why i was alone on new year's eve it's a video up and i just never felt comfortable with it so i i did i did it and it felt so weird and I think at the time especially during this time I was just like oh you know same thing getting followers and stuff and you don't think it's a big deal until you're in it and then I was like this is so but why can't you give James the benefit of the doubt because you did that I did it once he's like best friends hanging out with this girl multiple times except like alone and to me and like I said chances are there's nothing like that happening but it's no, just inappropriate think... it's like to me hanging mm. out with a being best friends like you said to mentor or even having a video like let's say we have like a minor on our podcast or whatever and their parents are here whatever but to hang out with them consistently either whether it's using them for views or whatever it's it's just How gross to me 21 and she's 16, 16. Wow, that's a pretty big age gap it's a very big age gap especially because she just turned 16 and and, and you're not developed at that age. You're just not mentally there. You're going to listen. Of course, she's already corrupted. There, she, He tweeted her like, hi, best friend. And she's like, hi, best friend. There's this weird manipulation going on there. And I I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's I think it's inappropriate. So let me let me I was going to say, well, maybe he's friends with the sister. That's what he was saying. I'm friends with the family. But hold on, because if you go to the classroom drop, her sister's not in the of photo shoot. Not. It's just Charlie. <laughs> And she's front and center. Front by the and way. center. She's like the the main focus of, of the course. photo shoot with him. Of They're course. best friends. It's so gross that like whole thing. He's using she was fifteen her. at the time. Yep. Freak. It is. It is. There's there's just no reason for that. There's just it's just not. It's inappropriate. Okay, a little bit hypocritical here, but I I think I you think make a decent point. Oh, I'm not. But can I just always say I have never, even with the N word, <laughs> I'm never one to be like I'm so much better than them. Like I have thought I've been. No, I think like, I think first of all, you did a collab with her. James is like hang, is like using this girl yeah. to promote merch and like with her all the time. It's it makes me to this day it makes me still so uncomfortable and stuff. And it's so, so I never am one to be like I'm so much better than them. But like, what, why did you stay at her house when her parents weren't there? It was so odd. Sorry, I, I, well, at the time, I didn't know. Oh, bless you. Thank so you. her her mom, let me correct this. Her mom actually was there when I came in. She was bedazzling stuff, and I, I we bling stuff out until we were, like, doing. And then I think she just left or something. I mm -hmm. Like, that's how it was. And, um, yeah, it, it's it's weird. It was so weird. And, like, I'll be an, I'll be an advocate. I, I've talked about it before, why I don't, like, hang out with her anymore and stuff. And I think I think it's extremely, like, you know. I mean, other, other adults hang out with her and stuff. I, I just think it's weird. I don't. And it's also not good for the child. That's why child stars get fucked up, right? They're hanging around all these adults, and it's like there's something that's fucking them up, whether it's like they're growing up too fast. I don't know. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a, there's plenty there that could fuck them up. So James responds to you. Let's fucking get into the... That James Charles is the victim in every single shit you... I didn't want to respond. <laughs> to the get ready. I want to play... Wait, you know what? I have a funny idea. I'm going to play this in slow motion. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the speed down on YouTube. I didn't know you could do that. That's so cool. Let's see playback speed. Um, let's do 75 <sighs> percent. James Charles, God. Oh shit, you! I didn't want to respond to this because they didn't want to. He's give talking normal. It's on slow motion right That's now. That's so weird. Trust the attention that she's clearly craving. However, I've never been accused of being a child groomer, and this is not an accusation. Never said groomer. Yeah, you never said <laughs> Don't groomer. Don't say it. Grooming is. 
so different, so different. Wait, why like, are you saying groomer? This whole thing is just so many mistruths, which is what fired me up more than anything. I'm like, don't lie on me. Like, you, there's Hold so on. much. You didn't to say, say groomer because that's crazy I to never say that. Was a groomer. Grooming is also very. You said it's just territory. Like even like regardless, like whatever, like grooming is such a whole other thing. That's like bringing someone up to be like Onision does to like the 17 year old. Yeah, like yeah no, groom wait, hold on. AB, did she call him a groomer? Because I... Definitely not. Just, I, I want to make that clear. No, I don't recall her calling yeah, him. Yeah, okay. A thousand percent that, that, never that, happened. I would, I would be like, I don't know, maybe, but... No, maybe, maybe groomers in your head, James. <laughs> yeah, the voices in his head. No, that's like, that is a subconscious thing. I was like, what the fuck? Like, you're groom, like... Yeah, that. grooming indicates you're prepping them for like... Yeah, to be to your take little a little candle, show pony. To take a candle. Okay, not bad. To be okay. like a little show pony in your sister's campaign. Okay, here we go. That I'm going to take lightly. Uh, to take insinuate lightly. that the relationship between Charlie and I is anything other than just a friendship is absolutely disgusting. I don't need Charlie, and Charlie does not need me. You most front definitely need Charlie. Front row and center of the school shoot. <laughs> she doesn't need me. I'm just like... She definitely doesn't need you. That's for sure. <laughs> Her, James. That's yeah, I mean, you've definitely you used her the first chance you could to put her in the front row That's center. That's we got like a second win. Like people were over James, even even the Tati thing, whatever bullshit. I don't like her either. But like people were kind of over him anyways. And then he got this resurgence with this TikToker. As he was like sucking the blood of these young underage. By the way, kids. he's in his sister robe. <laughs> With the blue eye shadow, just I fully. became friends with the Demilio family as a whole very very early. Why weren't on any of them in your school? Whole... Shoot. Right. It sounds very familiar. Tati also saying she was friends with his whole family that her par his parents were over for dinner. It's very Why aren't they ever why aren't they ever in your TikToks and bullshit? <laughs> very, very new to them. Magadad. And I wanted to be a friend and a mentor in any way oh, that God. I possibly could. Oh. And Charlie and I, despite not being the same age, had one thing in common, which is coming into the spotlight at a very, very young age. This is something that Trisha has never experienced because the only reason she is in the spotlight is because she has said racist things. She said the N-word, she's done blackface, she offended the trans community. Community. She offended the DID community. She said Hitler wasn't that bad of a guy. Voted for Trump. Wait, what did you say about Hitler? He said Hitler wasn't that bad did, of a guy. Is that from this show? No, I think that was from like maybe. I have no idea. Oh. Maybe I said it in like a video. Why? I have no idea. I was like, because all I've been saying on this show is like, I'm really traumatized by what Hitler did. Like now that I've like watched like 45 minutes of Schindler's List, I'm like, wow, <laughs> he's really sucky. That's all I've been saying is how much I hate Hitler recently. So I'm like, and what? And started a fight with about every <laughs> single other creator on this platform. That's my favorite you excuse when she has a fight with every single other creator on this platform. Like, I like I, I just talk about people. Like, what the fuck? It's not like I have an issue. Do you think I like? I mean, no, you go through a lot of beefs, but, but do I wake up? So does James. Yeah, he's a lot no than position me. to be talking about me and my career, so I highly recommend that you stop starting fights with people that are half your age, pack it up, and work on holding Ooh. yourself and your best friends around you because they and you are the problem. Oh, okay. Whoa. Well, Everyone was saying James ended you. He really did something. He did something. But now he just made himself look like an ass because now, what? you remember those tweets he did about like going to Africa and like where he's going to get Ebola? Did no. you see those? So there's a ton of racist tweets that came out about him and his excuse, right? Did you see his apology about it? Well, actually, he didn't apologize. His excuse, he writes to the person like, hey. Pull it up. Pull it up, okay. baby. Three with their seats. Let's go. So a few years ago, James was canceled for saying all Africa has is Ebola and also making this racist comment that like they're going to Africa and he and his friends are going to get Ebola. Okay, wait. Pause, wait, pause, wait, pause. Did you watch the whole thing? Well, 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 okay. Shouldn't we She's discuss gonna the tweet? You. She's going to tell you. She's explaining it right okay, now to okay. you. I don't know if all you guys right. remember Ebola, but there was a lot of racism toward African Americans at the time mm. because of it, like treating mm. them like they were dirty and diseased, okay. and his tweet just added to that. Okay, And then fair he made enough. this comment about how some stupid Indian man didn't have his size at the boardwalk. He was just... He was Wait, I want to read the tweet. She went too fast. Okay. He says, Wait, hold on. Dude, this girl came it. with the receipts. I got to hire her. her. <laughs> I know. You're fired, AB. Yeah. Okay. okay. He said, Wow, I really wanted a cute yellow minion sweatshirt for 10 bucks, but no, they didn't have my size. Stupid Indian man on the boardwalk. I've never once heard yeah. that one tweet of me saying, Dumb Asians don't know how to drive. Like, what? Stupid like, Indian. Okay. And he said, There's no That's malice. That's pretty corny. To bring up race in general there's malice behind it, a stereotype or something so it's so fucking crazy like it there's no matter how you mean anyways okay i agree i agree okay Indian what year is this from though size the board he was 17 he, he was said when he said these black woman who sang okay i wish i was a chubby black woman who sang in a barbershop style acapella group okay here's my take just put race into anything there's some stereotype you're trying to project with that like it doesn't need to be said now. You know what I mean? It doesn't need to be said like ever, but it's like, you don't just say like, oh, I wish like, I was a black woman or a black man or something. It's just like a weird, there's some sort of, 
motivation behind it. It is, it is racist in my opinion. I don't think you should say that. Like, okay, mm. keep going. Barbershop style acapella group, which is such a racist stereotype. Posted this picture, shaming a black woman for her hairstyle, taking a picture of her in public and posting it on his feed to shame her. What the hell? This, wait, what was the photo? I saw you said, what the hell? This is not okay, but what was the photo? It's a black woman with her hair done. Oh. It's her bun. What's wrong with that? What Just the hell? Shaming. It's like oh, so this is the worst. He took a random photo of someone in public and posted it to his Twitter feed. Yeah. That's insane. He said, a black "What the hell? Style. This is not okay." Like that is super. That is super fucking crazy to just call out some random person. I don't see what's wrong. What's wrong with their hairstyle? It's just a bun? Yeah. What's wrong with that? You just want to mock her. It's just like when people do it at gym. But, but, but I'm genuinely curious. What is he saying is not okay? He's just, I guess he doesn't like it. He doesn't think it's attractive. Is the bun, is the fabric made of something odd? It's probably, she looks like she has like maybe hair extensions or something that don't blend right. Oh. It's in the Weird. Discord if you want better visuals. The second link has those, all those tweets. Uh -huh. That's okay. This is fine. Okay. This picture shaming a black woman for her hairstyle, taking a picture of her in public, yeah, that's posting it mega on his fucked feed up. to shame her. That's he mega. He was calling slow walkers annoying, and he was called out for being ableist. Oh shit! Sorry. Was annoying, and he was called out Just pause it. Fuck. Yeah, I want to read the tweet. Fuck, I'm trying to. I'm trying to pause it. My fat finger keeps hitting it. Okay. Do we go? Okay. He said. He's. What is wrong oh. with? Oh, fuck! 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 <laughs> My fat fucking fingers. I see you retweeted this. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hate James Charles more than anyone? Um, I want to say I hate him. I think if anyone deserves to be canceled off the internet, it definitely should be him. I don't believe that like, people can be canceled. You have to go away to be canceled, but he deserves to be canceled more than anybody. Because really? wow. he, this is the influence of like, it's not the generation his age, like 21 or even teenagers. It's like the nine and 10 year olds who think this is like cool and they look up to him. It's like, oh, this is like not good. Okay. Okay. So he, so he quote tweeted somebody saying, hmm, some of us have chronic pain and other disabilities and have no other choice but to walk slow. If I walk fast, I'll collapse. And then you'll have to walk around a sobbing mess. He quote tweeted that and said, this was the most annoying tweet of the century. Why? And this was 2018, so he's 19. <laughs> like, Why would you diss on this poor disabled person? <laughs> I have a disability. He's like, most annoying tweet. Okay, let's continue real quick. <laughs> That's not proof he's racist, though. It's just an, an asshole. Well, here's the thing. It's like, this is the thing. It's like consistent behavior. I said the N-word in a song 10 years ago, and he wants to call me out for that. Fine. I agree. That's what I'm don't... saying. He shouldn't be calling anyone out for being racist for something small like Singing, you know, that's like you saying the n-word when you're singing a song is something let's face it We've all done in private of at course. one point in our time. So for him to call you out for that is yeah. like super it's Silly, so, but then to be like this like this is insane. This is insane to me tweet of the century. He also got in trouble for calling his Mexican friend his slave Oh, so good call. Wait, Jane's let me read that headline fast in a video and he has the same pattern of consistent This stuff is all good. This is why you shouldn't call anyone out for being racist Exactly if of all people, James Charles, that would be like me calling out someone for like, oh, you're right. Like, why? Like, first of all, I'm like, never said if this. If you're though. a white guy, you might not want to call your Mexican friend your slave. What was the, I'd love to know the context of that. I mean, can AB, look it up. AB, can you look that one up? Yeah, I'm on it. And you know what's so great is he's now latched onto this new generation with TikTok. So the people who wouldn't have known about this, it's not being brought to light because of your dumb ass trying to call me out and thinking you really did something. Right. When in reality, and you know what? The worst part of this is so he's getting called out by so many like different ethnicities, like just whatever, it doesn't matter. He's getting called out. And instead of like, again, apologizing, like, yeah, my N-word thing keeps being brought up and I like have said, sorry, I say, sorry, I say, sorry. he's like, I'll take accountability, but it wasn't under malice, but I was 17. It's like, that's not accountability if you make excuses. The fact that he can't say I'm fucking sorry and go on TikTok the way he called me out and tell his people like, hey, this well, was some fucked up he, shit. He should know if he really matured and is apologizing, whatever, he knows he, he shouldn't apologize. call you. But I'm saying if he's like, oh, I was 17, he should know now not to call you out for doing something. But the picture he took of the black woman and making fun Ugh. of her bun is fucked up on so many levels. So many levels. To shame anybody. That's like, there was yeah. the guy at the gym took a picture of like a fat That's exactly yeah. what that is. And it's, it's like, she's not she's not part of your life you don't know her and to put her on the internet like that to me is so gross but that just shows yeah. like the ugliness in him just like seeps out and all the stuff that came, like i didn't know about any of this stuff so as soon as i saw it, i'm like this guy is actually disgusting and this is why he's hated because i never understood it like i heard stuff from you shane jeffrey whatever tati and i was just like okay he sounds shitty but then now and i never met him to see all this i'm like he's an actual like can i person. you know it's funny whenever we put out a new uh release on uh, Teddy Fresh, the comments are always um, James uh, sneak peek of James Charles' next collection. <laughs> I Wait, mean, are, is there more? You ended it. Oh, there was like a couple seconds. I think she was just saying, I don't know. Let's see. I'm I'm too, super into her video. <laughs> Slave. 
So don't tell me that James ended Trisha because he talked fast in a video and he has the same pattern of consistent racist behavior mm. as Trisha did. She's good. She's fucking. Mm. And can I just say, not the same pattern of consistent. Mine was not consistent no, racist she's right. behavior. No, but she's right. I, I, that's course. what I meant. I'd say you guys are both racist in the same way. You're not it's really. Not consistent. He has like consistent things. All right. I would think, you know? All right. I just.